I've shown in a previous um, in a previous video I've shown this one I polished it the bottom of it there but it's chromite has a brown streak and it's a black mineral and it doesn't react to a magnet at all um, though chromite can react to magnets but that's chromite and we do have that but uh, today I'm just going to show you also some iron uh, that we that have found in the in the harbor so the first is just this iron ore pellet and um, you will find these also along railroad tracks all over the place so we've this is man-made of course or synthetic right so I don't know what they do they grind up hematite or something and it is very it's weakly um, reactive to a magnet so I'll show you see how it see how the magnet does make it uh, react like without even touching it 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 moves it slightly so it's got some reaction at this point um, so you'll find those all over the place. And then um, the other thing is, though, I had thought that all these boulders of ore were chromite, but it turns out um, this one is magnetite. It's, it is black like chromite, not quite as black, and it's, but it's strongly attracted to a magnet. Let me show you this. Um, yeah, see? So it just immediately attracts. And I tried to... Um, I dangled it from a string to see if it would point north, but it turns out not all magnetite is a lodestone. A lodestone it, uh, will point north, but what happens is, believe it or not, lightning has to strike uh, a magnet, the magnetite, and it, it organizes the magnetic uh, energy inside the magnet, magnetite so that it becomes a lodestone. And even the ancient peoples knew about it, about lodestone because it attracted other iron, and um, and uh, it of course eventually we figured out we could use it for compasses and things. I have no idea how the ancients figured all that out. I would not have figured it out. On top of that, this piece, and I can't show it probably in this um, with this camera, but I don't know if you can see here. There's red. There's red here, and I used to. I, I thought when I first found it that it was just rust, and that that was a sign of, of oxidation of iron. But actually, these are real red crystals. I'm thinking they might be sphalerite, or they might be um, uh, what's the other stuff called the red crystals. But it's very interesting. I'll try to get it, but I don't think it's going to focus for you. Uh, yeah, you can see it a little bit there. Um, hmm. Yeah, so... Yeah, there's some more on that side, too. But anyway, so it's very interesting. And so these are things you can find. Uh, so far, I haven't found copper, but again, Bethlehem Steel, I assume, was making steel, which for which you need chrome and iron. <clears throat> so that's today's video.